Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the founder and CEO of Appliance Professionals, Mr. Lamartine Station. Good morning, sir, and thank you for being here with us today. Hey, good morning. I really appreciate you taking the time. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me, but I only have a few questions here that we want to get to know you better and your uh, your company, Appliance Professionals. Shall we start? Yes, please. All right. So, yeah, can you tell me about how did you start the business or the company, rather, Appliance Professionals? Okay. Well, first of all, Appliance Professionals started about two years ago. And, and I'm going to start a little uh, prior to that. So we were a franchisee of a company called Home Technology Handyman. And so what we did was we went out and we mounted TVs, uh, sound bars, uh, installed you know, home security systems and things of that sort. I'm in West Point, Kentucky. I have a customer I did a job for and she's making me some fudge. So she called me a little while ago, told me to come pick it up. Uh, the job we did was uh, originally we installed installed or set up a 65 inch Samsung curved TV for I uh, noticed the sound bar needed some work so I hooked up a new sound bar um, then noticed that uh, she had an old TV that needed to be repaired so we took it to the shop got it repaired then noticed that her Wi-Fi uh, wasn't working properly so we went and uh, got her new router set that up for her. then she had a laptop that wasn't working properly so we uh, took that laptop and and set it up uh, just a great customer. Like I said, she called me and said that she makes fudge for the holidays. So I'm going to go in here and get All right, this fudge. is me and one of my all-star customers. <laughs> she's making me some fudge. Oh, you got it made. Yes, <laughs> and I think she's really happy with the services we provided for the year. Is that correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we love you. We're out. These jars are never finished. Look at the fudge in here. I feel like that guy on Diners and Dives. I'm like eating all And so uh, when COVID happened, the investors kind of backed up a little bit and said, hey, you know, you have an opportunity to get out of your agreement if you want to. And at that point, we had really built up our appliance uh, business because we were allowed to do appliances inside of the company. Mm -hmm. And so it was just a natural progression to uh, migrate from the home technology ha handyman into uh, our own company. And I was still in the air, I'm, I'm sorry, I was still in the army at that time. Uh, finishing my 23 years of service and so wow. i was looking for you know a way to, to just transition back to the civilian sector and so the handyman piece was that but the appliance piece was even more so it was just a a way to to build the business and build the brand and um it, it really worked out for us I see. Well, thank you for that wonderful um, story then. But here's actually an interesting part. Your Google reviews reached 100 reviews with a 4.9 rating. And that's amazing. Can you talk about what it means to reach it? Yeah. So first of all, I'm elated uh, to have that. Okay. You know, to some crossing 100 reviews and maintaining a 4.9 rating, may not be a big deal. Um, to me, it signifies the sacrifices that we made to make sure we're doing what's right for the customer. Right. And then the customer's at the forefront of our business. Mm -hmm. uh, customer service is an area that I have a long history in. I actually started customer service over 20 years ago. I was working at uh, off at Air Force Base. It's called US Strategic Command. And so I was at the help desk. You know, that thing's like four levels below the ground. Right? At that point, it was it designed since then. But um, I was at the help desk, and I was promoted to do what they call star support. And so what star support means is whenever any of the generals, you know, one star and above, would have a problem with their laptop, you know, connecting into the remote server, things like that, I would have a pager. You know, hey, back then we had pagers. Okay, I'm dating myself. And uh, I would be on call and they would call me and I would go run up to their desk, you know, make sure they can print, make sure they can, you know, do whatever and try to troubleshoot their issues. And that was the point where I realized, you know, I really had a knack for customer service. <laughs> and 
uh, it was something that just fit for me because I was all about solving people's problems and, you know, making, making things easier for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely. And aside from that, great things are done by a series of small things brought right. together and well, little things make big things happen. And I really agree with you, sir. So, um, the next question I have here is what sets appliance professionals apart from the rest of the companies out there? There are three things. Uh, first thing is going to be our passion. Mm -hmm. We are passionate about taking care of the customer. So, look, when I'm at a customer's house, I tell them, you know, I was like, look, I'm retired. So I do this for fun. And, and it's true. I'm blessed to be retired from the military. And so when I go out, I can solely focus on solving a customer's problem. Do I get it right all the time? No. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a quick story. It was about two years ago. I, I uh, really wanted to, to dig in on refrigerators. And I was, I was kind of scared of it. So I got to this LG refrigerator one day. And I'm looking at this thing. I'm looking at the schematics. I'm trying to, you know, figure out what to do. And it, it's like everything I did wouldn't get the refrigerator to cool, you know. And, but <laughs> that month I had like three or four calls like that. And I ended up giving back over $1,500 in refunds, you know, and that hurts wow. my pocketbook. Exactly. But, but it forced me to say, I want to master this. I want to get better, you know. So I went to training down in Texas. I went to Florida. I went to North Carolina. I mean, I'm flying all over the place, just gathering information and getting hands on and, you know, work with the instructors, asking all these questions uh, to eventually get to the point now where I'm very strong on theory and I can walk in and pretty much size up any refrigerator problem and, and bring a solution to the table uh, that works for the customer long term. Second thing I'm going to say is purpose. I have a purpose to really make this industry better provide high quality services, uh, fix people's problems, mm -hmm. and you know, just really make them feel valued. So when I come in the house, we usually have a conversation. I try to learn about them. A lot of times I wear, you know, pr proudly start the other side, <laughs> my army logo. <laughs> and, you know, that starts a whole, uh, a whole nother conversation because a lot of people have family that served or they've served and uh, we have commonalities. And then the third thing, third but not least important, I would say is mentorship. And that's mentoring up, mentoring down, being mentored. Uh, throughout my career, I have been blessed to have a lot of mentors that really took the time to pour out into me and to make me the person uh, that I am. Now, one in particular, I remember I was working in Washington, D.C., and I was uh, what they call an executive officer. So that really means your colonel sits in the office, you sit outside the office, and you make sure their schedule is taken care of. You make sure you know they're prepared for meetings. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you sit down with them. So you have to be in there before them so you can make sure they're successful. You have to be there after them to make sure they're successful the next day. You know? <laughs> and yes. it was just one, it was one day, I don't know. I, was, I, I wasn't on my A game. And you know, colonel comes out of the office and just says, you know, she says, Captain Station, because the captain at that time, uh, let's go for a walk, you know, and she mentored me all the way down to the cafeteria and all the way back, you know, but it was done out of care and love and concern. And I try to just, you know, exemplify that and, and push that forward because it made all the difference. And I mean, it really set the stage for, for who I am today and, and where I am now. I see. Well, those are three things and that is passion, purpose, and mentorship. Well, just want to share that, of course, with People with great passion can make the impossible happen. And that's very true. So um, before anything else, or where we can find you, by the way, where can we find appliance professionals? Okay, that's a great question. So there's a couple of places you can find us, all right, offline and online. So <laughs> if you want to find us offline, you're going to find us in two distinct places, okay? So we're based out of Crestwood, Kentucky, all right? And that's, that's our primary location. But we also have a second location in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we are in downtown Cincinnati um, at the, I would say near the top floor of the PNC Center. And then we're also here at Crestwood. Uh, we have a location inside of the American Mini Storage. And so online, the primary place you're gonna find us is Google. You know, if you go to Google My Business, or you type in, you know, appliance repair near me, 
Uh, we pop up, like I, like you said earlier, we have some great ratings. And, you know, YouTube, Thumbtack, yeah, just Google Appliance Professionals, we're going to come up. But I would, I would really encourage everyone to visit our website at www.appliancepro2u.com. That's numeral two. And I'll put that, uh, I'll put that link uh, below for everybody. All right. That's again, www.appliancepro2u.com. Just want to ask, then, sir, anything else that you want to share or talk about then? Last but not least, I will say that, um, you know, we're blessed to serve the people of our communities, and we take that very seriously. You know, I listen to your feedback. I'm, I, I'm up early. <laughs> I stay up late, you know, trying to always improve. I try to put out videos periodically of just, you know, different repairs, that we, or photos and videos, actually, of different repairs that, that we do. Uh, and we try to be fully transparent. Um, but we want everybody, you know, come along for the ride with us. And I'm just glad that, you know, we can provide a high level of service. And um, if anything that I can do to, to help you understand better, or if you're, you know, trying to fix something and you just run into a problem, just, just give us a call. You know, I'm always here to help. Oh, and by the way, what's the best phone number that we can reach you at then? Okay. The best number to reach us at is 502-233. 3088. No matter where you call from, that's our main line, and it will get routed to whoever's available. So my wife, Eureka, she runs the office. Um, so we really are like a hometown business, you know. So she runs the office, answers the phone calls. Um, I hear her in there having a good time with customers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just enjoying the process, you know. Like I said, I'm accessible. I'm on the road a lot between uh, Louisville and Cincinnati. But we have two techs in, in Louisville. Um, Nidra and Hellman, and then, um, you know, I'm the owner slash senior tech, and then we also have a tech up in Cincinnati, uh, his name's Josh, and so uh, we're just trying to, we're just trying to do great things. All right, it's good to hear then, sir. Well, I don't have questions anymore, but thank you for giving us time to interview you, and we're excited to talk to you again soon, so um, stay tuned for more updates from appliance professionals and please like share and subscribe and hit the notification below see you right. thank you princess you have a great day you too then sir all right bye